Hi guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I make lots of What's Her Dinner videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. And I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today's video is actually the first What's Her Dinner video of the new year. Um, actually some of these dinners took place before the new year but I just haven't had a chance to edit them all together until now. So this, these are videos before the new year and now and there's a bunch of really, really Really yummy budget friendly and super easy dinners to hopefully get you guys and your family through the rest of this winter so let's get started all right guys it's December 23rd and we're doing a dinner tonight um, I wanted to do something that was easy before all the holiday food set in and we were in like a food coma something a little bit lighter so we're having a barbecue ranch chicken salad these are just chicken tenderloins that have been marinating for a couple of hours in some barbecue sauce and some a little bit of ranch and now I'm just lightly sauteing them. I mean they will be fully cooked. They are going to be cooked. <laughs> I'm sauteing them up in the pan and then I cut up some, about to cut up some grape. I'm gonna ha uh, have some grape tomatoes. I cut up very roughly some avocado and I just seasoned it with a little salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Um, I did hard boil six eggs. Um, I will probably use these two in the salad and then I'll just save these for breakfast or Jazz likes to eat them. Um, we have some authentic wonton strips to go on top to add a little crunch. We also have some corn that's going to go in it. Um, I have two blocks of cheese. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I either have pepper jack or Colby and Monterey jack. And we're going to use this just romaine salad mix from Walmart and I also will put a can. I've made this uh, salad before and I know some of you guys don't have these where you live. This is, I guess, just a southern thing, but these are ranch style beans. They're incredible if you can get your hands on them. Highly recommend them. They're really good in chilies and salads and everything. So um, we're gonna have some ranch style beans on top with a little bit of corn. Mix that all up with the chicken and call it a day. I'm really excited. All right, here's the salad. Um, got a little crazy with the dressing. <laughs> But here is the salad with the wonton strips on top. Looks delicious, the chicken tastes so good. I highly recommend you do that with chicken. And just let it slowly cook. It really caramelizes at the end and looks so good. We just don't keep it gross with the pan. Anyway, really excited. Gonna be yummy, just crunchy, delicious dinner. And that's it for dinner. All right, this next meal is kind of a do-it-yourself um, hamburger helper. We just started with um, some basic pasta shelves. These are the medium size ones. Um, and then we took a pound of ground beef. Please ignore all of my terrible camera work. My regular camera that we use on a tripod hasn't been working, so we're working with our phone. So please ignore all the shakiness. Anyway, we're just gonna add that to the noodles, toss it up and together, and then we are going to add in two cans of tomato, condensed tomato soup. Um, this gave it a such a different flavor than if you use regular pasta sauce. I really, really liked it. I highly recommend it. It was really, really yummy. I then went ahead and added a like about half a can of milk just to take away a little bit of the acidity of the tomato soup um, and add a little bit of creaminess in there and then we went ahead and sprinkled some cheese over it now you could do this toss it all together and then put it in a baking dish and bake it so it's a little bit more of like a casserole we actually preferred it pretty true to hamburger helper where you just have it in a pan this was really yummy it was a crowd pleaser for my girls for my husband and i really inexpensive and a quick meal for the week Alright, so tonight's dinner is a quick one. I've made this on my channel before. I got this recipe from Home Sweet Stephanie. She's such a sweet, awesome, incredible person on this uh, platform. She does a lot of What's For Dinner videos. I recommend checking her out. I will have her channel link below. But I got this recipe from her. I've made it before. It's really, really quick, really easy, perfect sheet pan dinner. And it's really nice for the winter time where you want something light and bright, or obviously spring and summer. But if you're craving, the good like brightness and just you're missing the sun this is a good one so i have two bell peppers an orange and a red and then a red onion you can use whatever mix of peppers that you would like um some chicken tenderloins and then a packet of ranch seasoning and a packet of fajita seasoning i will also use garlic powder and onion powder probably a little bit of salt and some pepper and olive oil 
and then we're gonna pretty much chop all these up, mix everything together with some olive oil and some squeeze a generous amount of lime juice on there, throw it on a pan, cook it in the oven, put it on tortillas, call it a day. So we're making some chicken fajitas and I'm really excited. This is such, such a good meal. Highly recommend trying it with some ranch and some lime juice and you will not be disappointed. So let's get it chopped up. All right guys. <laughs> all right guys. <laughs> So I have all of my veggies chopped up in here, and I'm gonna take about half of each, um, the fajita, the fajita, <laughs> fajita, and then ranch, and I'm gonna take about half of each and put them in there. I'm gonna put it, and then all the seasonings, I'm gonna put on before the oil, so they get really, every veggie gets seasoned, and then we will put the oil on and mix it all together. Um, yeah, so let's just add some ranch, some fajita, like I said, I'm gonna do a garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of salt and pepper, make these super tasty, and then we'll squeeze lemon juice, add some oil, toss them, and then we'll cut up the chicken, do the same bowl, same time, pop out on the sheet pan. All right guys, so I just added the chicken. I did the exact same thing that I did to the vegetables, nothing different, same bowl, super easy, really minimal dishes you have to worry about. We're gonna pop it in the oven at 400, maybe 375 since they're tenders and they're not super thick, probably 375 for about 15 minutes and then we'll check from that point on, um, 15, 20 minutes and that is dinner. And then we're gonna have it with some tortillas and I'm really excited. This looks super good, especially vegetables. I can do all that by myself. Maybe not all of it. Maybe all of it. Probably all of it. I do really like peppers and onions. All right guys, here's how it turned out. I'm not making mine into a taco. I'm kind of doing like a a dip sort of situation like I have with Non. Quite often, I don't know, Non's got me into just dipping things. So this is how I like to do it. I have two warm tortillas, a little bit of hummus, because I love hummus with fajitas and chicken. I think it tastes so good. My peppers, my chicken. I would have added avocado, but my avocado isn't ripe enough yet. So this is dinner tonight. This is such a good, inexpensive, and really quick and easy dinner. Highly recommend. And that's dinner tonight. All right, this next meal is another hamburger helper type of style, um, but this one is more of kind of a Mexican um, eyes version of it. And so I'm just starting with a pound of ground beef. Um, I'm seasoning it with some seasoned salt, garlic powder, onion powder, my usual seasonings. And then I am taking some taco seasoning and I'm gonna season that. I always like taco seasoning before um, I cook my meat. I know some people will like it afterwards. I think the directions use afterwards. I just like it better before. You do you, however you wanna use your taco seasoning. I'm just gonna brown the meat up and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a can of red enchilada sauce. Next time I make this, I would definitely double the sauce recipe um, and add two cans of red enchilada sauce and then add some more filler or protein by adding um, either beans or even some corn, just something to bulk it up a little bit more so it makes the sauce go a little bit longer. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take about half a block of cream cheese. I'm cutting it up into little cubes just so it will melt easier. I did leave this at room temperature for about an hour or so before I started. Um, it definitely was pretty heavy on the cream cheese, so like I said, that is why I definitely would recommend adding in the red enchilada sauce a second can just to help it go a little bit farther because I ended up having to use taco sauce just to kind of add a little bit more of that um, flavor in. Next we just boiled up some pasta shells and then I'm just popping this on. It looks almost like a sloppy joe uh, mix but it mixed really really well. It was really good. There's just some tweaks that I would make next time um, just to make it a little bit better um, but I like this. This was an easy once again really inexpensive meal. It's something that reheats really well. It's My kids loved it. It was a good option. 
but I just had it with a side salad and we put a little bit of cheese on top um, and like I said it, it just feels like an all-american type of meal I don't know it was easy it was quick inexpensive it was yummy I would recommend it and I will try it again with my few modifications all right, so we're moving on to our Sunday roast. I'm just using it in the crock pot and I'm adding about seven baby gold yellow potatoes. These are the potatoes that I chose. Uh, russets would have worked great just as well. I mean, you do you, whatever you'd like. I also used a bag of baby carrots instead of whole carrots, but once again, we use what you have on hand. It is your roast or whatever you prefer. I put the vegetables on the bottom um, just so they would cook thoroughly. Sometimes I notice when I put harder vegetables on top, it doesn't cook as well. So I made sure that the vegetables were on the bottom to make sure that they cooked thoroughly through. Then I'm taking this Czech pot roast. I got this from Walmart. It was a really nice piece of meat um, and it cooked really well. I put this on top and then we're going to go ahead and start seasoning it. I'm using the Fiesta brand seasoning. This is the steak seasoning. Let me know below if you guys can get Fiesta seasoning anywhere else. I know it's a Texas company, but I'm curious to know if you can get it in like Minnesota or something. <laughs> Let me know if you can get it where you live. Um, next I'm taking ranch. This is kind of the Mississippi style pot roast vibe of it. I'm kind of mixing traditional and Mississippi together. I love using ranch in my dishes. I just think it livens up the flavor so well and it's just such a simple, easy, and expensive seasoning. Um, and then I'm just taking, I had a rest of an onion to use up, so I'm just slice that up and popping that all around the side of the roast. And then I'm basically bathing it in Worcestershire sauce. I love Worcester sauce, as my mom calls it. It's delicious. You can use A1. I've seen other recipes use that as a marinade, but I just decided to use Worcestershire sauce. Then I'm just taking pads of butter, popping that on top. This is kind of the Mississippi pot roast coming back in again, just so that can kind of melt and cook over the top of it the meat and the sides of the vegetables. We are popping the lid on and roasting it for um, 10, eight to 10 hours on low. As you can see, I went to go check to see how it was going. The meat was starting to fall apart. The vegetables were really tender, cooked through. I sliced um, one up with the spoon, the potato, and then the carrots were soft. Everything was really good. You could easily make a roast or a gravy out of this. Um, we decided to opt out of the gravy and just have a really simple dinner. We had rolls on the side. I wish I would have remembered a side salad because I thought that would have made it better, but this was delicious and a really easy Sunday roast meal. All right, tonight for a super easy and quick dinner, we are having breakfast for dinner and we are making homemade egg McMuffins. Um, homemade, but I mean using deli ham and already pre-made English muffins. We're not going crazy. Um, but this is a really super cheap meal and typically it's pretty easy to have most things on hand. Um, I tried to make this video all about cheap and budget friendly meals because I know so many of us are trying to keep an eye on that. Um, my biggest tip is using melty cheese. So this is like the good old Kraft single style, but this is great value. My husband hates this one. He likes Kraft, but the like Velveeta style cheese too like the slices you want something that's really melty and gooey i feel like really makes a difference so we're gonna have these i'll show you when it's plated up because it's pretty much just toasting some english muffins warming up a little bit of ham and frying some eggs all right so plate looks kind of yucky but this is its finished product this is for my husband, so he asked for double cheese. Put two slices of thick cut ham, and then, well, thicker cut, I guess. Then the yolk's kind of coming out on the bottom. This is our egg McMuffin. Super cheap, super quick, super easy. My kids are fighting. It's joy of my life. All right, here's my plate. I wasn't feeling egg McMuffins, which is so funny because I'm the one who was like, I want an egg McMuffin so bad, got the ingredients, and when I cooked it, I was like, no, I really want jelly and two fried eggs so that's what i did i'm having two fried eggs and some an english muffin with a little bit of jelly on it just grape jelly i may have some cottage cheese on the side um but that is my dinner for tonight once again breakfast and dinner super quick super easy super real life all right guys so dinner is on the way what we're started we are halfway through we're there anyway tonight we are having some oven resin potatoes these are just baby uh, gold potatoes. Um, I made this into my uh, what's for dinner last time. Basically, just douse them with some olive oil, 
um, salt, pepper, lots of garlic powder, and some ranch seasoning. Toss it together and they're about to go in the oven. Next, I'm working on my chicken. I have, I believe, three chicken breasts in here. I've marinated them all day with in some honey mustard. We're gonna saute them up um, in this pan, and then we are going to cover them in some of the Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce, some cheese, and some bacon bits, and put them in the oven for the cheese to melt, and we're gonna have kind of like a, I don't even know how to say that, like honey mustard barbecue chicken, kind of like Outback chicken-ish sort of vibes. That's what we're doing. So I'm just gonna pop them in and saute them up right now. All right, so after the chicken's been sauteed, we are just adding on some of this barbecue sauce. You use whatever barbecue sauce or sauce that you would like. Honestly, this is such a customizable dish. And then we're gonna pop on some shredded cheese on top and then bacon bits. Now, this is blasphemous, but we are not a big bacon lover family, so we are just using bacon bits from a bag. You can use chopped up bacon that's fresh. If you like that, this just tasted just as good to me. Um, and it was a really easy, inexpensive, very kid-friendly, meal um but that is it for this video i hope you guys got some good budget friendly um and super easy uh dinner ideas please let me know if you guys decide to try any of them um thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye guys